playing on casual because uh, lightsaber don't do that much damage. Oh, I just ruined it. It's a lightsaber. I unlocked a full-blown lightsaber. Uh, I say full-blown. It doesn't do much. I have to skip cutscenes because they take... Yes, we gave, but more you took, they take stopped. time. So, um... What's happening now is my Can wife was reading something? to my daughter. I'm Nothing. holding her, I'll put her taking down. her to bed. She's a sleepy little baby. She's going to cry right here on the step. Oh, I got to check on her. Oh, God. Uh, it's like I said to your mom. There's a lot that of things you can check on and do in this house. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to be showing you any of those because uh, I'm trying to haul ass. So uh, there, honey. I'm just going to put her down in her crib and run right back down, trigger a cut scene. Um, there's a achievement. I will take one moment. See that ball there? You can kick it. And if you can kick it into the office, that's an achievement. There you go, um, And a challenge. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Can't Daddy pause and skip that cutscene. Monsters get you. Oh, I can. I can. I didn't think I could skip, skip that one. Okay. Hauling it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, basically... I come in here and, you know, putting our wife down. There were some traumatic things that happened to these characters last time. That, what just happened, dudes busted in and killed my wife. Just blasted her. Uh, a good dude from the last game and from several Resident Evil games, Chris Redfield, came through, killed my wife. When asked why, he just said, leave it alone, Ethan, and walked away and put me in handcuffs, went out here. So I, you hear tires screeching, van run over, uh people dead and I'm just out here in the snow I don't know where I am I'm somewhere in Europe it's quite cold movement speeds will be faster soon this beginning part just takes a second the atmosphere in this game is awesome uh, I've played through this game so many times, and it's one of the few games that I've just never gotten tired of. Oh, be prepared for this, so I'm going to cut my hand here. That's not the first or worst thing that's going to happen to my hand. Uh, yeah, rip my wife. Sure. Um, you'll see what happens. You'll see her again. I'll kind of explain as I go with the story beats that you're missing so that you get the reveals just like I did. Um, yeah, these are dead crows. Except that one. I was still alive. He's still partying. What killed him? Well. That thing. A lot of people are probably going to be like, oh, I thought Resident Evil games were zombies. They are. They were. The virus, the zombification virus, um, has changed a lot. And it does more than just zombify people. There are other things. And this game introduced yet another thing that could happen. This was horrifying, by the way, the first time I played it. Um, very, very tense. Very dark uh, in this beginning section here. And a lot of little things were scary. When you're actually taking your time to look around and it's very tense. Something going on up there. We're going to have to go check it out. Uh, this game does have one of the most horrifying sections of any game I've played. It's n overall, this game is not that scary. I think the one before it, Resident Evil 7, was scarier. Um, but this does have the scariest section from any of the games. It just doesn't last very long. I'll warn you before that comes. There is some rough imagery and terrible noises. I hate the sound more than I hate. What did all this? Anything else? And 
This is where, where I am. The hell am I? This is the village. That's Castle Dimitrescu. People say it different ways. Dimitrescu, Dimitrescu, Domitresk. Nobody really knows. I can explore like all these houses and when you first play the game, I recommend it. There's a lot of things. Oh wait, this game that the woman everyone's simping over? Yes it is. This is the one with Lady Dimitrescu. Um, you'll see her soon. Uh, she's actually the first area of what the happened? game after I leave the village. Um, but yeah, I recommend exploring all these houses if it's your first time through. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to get. Um, and it's just good to familiarize yourself with the village. Because you're going to be walking through here. It's kind of a hub area that you keep coming back to. Let's get that cutscene. A poor man died. Um, and then... I, I can't watch this cutscene, but know that Ethan gets a couple of fingers bit off here. Um, let me see. What the hell? You can kind of see his hand there. Um, he's missing his pinky and ring finger on his left hand. Bit off his wedding ring and everything. It's uh, pretty awful. Awesome. Yeah, the game looks really, really good. I love this, uh, the whole style of this game. Heard that gentleman go. So this, uh, this part of the game is pretty tough too, um, especially your first time through. This was brutal. Uh, you get attacked by some lichens here. Very similar to the uh, Resident Evil 4. Okay, now one's broken through. He'll be right here. Right, now I can win this. Um, but they kind of back off here, and I'm like, oh, is it over? Is it over? And, uh, but there are all these lichens perched up all over the houses watching me here, and this is going to trigger a, uh, an attack, and there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I can't kill them. They will come out endlessly. I just have to survive. For, I don't remember how long it's, been. it's a minute. Luckily, I've got this uh, nifty lightsaber here. I'm gonna go double blade mode because I can attack better with it. Normally, people recommend not killing these things because you could get hurt, but most people don't have the lightsaber. It's very, very difficult to unlock it. Uh, I have the lightsaber, so I am doing more damage than most. And the lightsaber has alternate modes. I'm sure you'll see me switch from time to time. One of them will give me some health back. You're going to see a big bastard here in a second. I think his name's Urias. And uh, you're not supposed to be able to kill him. I've never tried to kill him with a lightsaber no here. I'm going to try. Because I mean, if I'm... Okay, yeah, here come the flaming arrows and whatnot. Uh, as I said before, this is a very difficult part. Your first playthrough, because you have nothing but a, a just the weakest pistol in the game. No upgrades to it. A lot of things on the ground, I'm not picking any of them up because there's no point. I don't want to go into my inventory and I don't want to spend any money or sell any money making money. I don't want to do any of that, so. Big dude should be coming through here any second. Where you at, your eyes? Looks like I'm gonna be getting this game. Oh, there he is. There's the big bastard. Uh oh. oh. Okay, I'll kill this guy. Hey, baby. Oh, he hit me. I'm gonna have to kill him again later. Oh, oh 
Oh, my lightsaber. Oh, I think I got him. No, I didn't. Did I get him? I got him. I will pick up his money. Oh, I didn't want the alternate color. I guess I'll do this one. This is the one that gains me health back. It doesn't do a lot of damage, though. Ow. Okay, I, I should probably be playing better than I am. Let's go right here. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I'll heal up with the green side when there's not so many enemies. They recommend not trying to fight them. Where's Urias' money? Give me your money. Did I get it already? I don't know. There's a lot of money on the ground. I just can't spend it. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's the cutscene. I made it. How am I looking on time? You can see it at the top there. I'm at 10 minutes so far. Dude, his hand, he just got hit in the leg with an arrow. And all of this is part of the story, too. So pay attention to how hurt he gets. Can I skip this? Yes. Rose is here? Ro oh, they stole my baby, Rose. That baby I just put to bed. Chris took the baby, killed my wife, and I am just left to deal with it. Um, so... Needless to say, I'm upset. I'm here in this village. I am looking for my baby. My baby is Rose. Um, you're going to hear him talk about Rose a lot. I'm going to need that piece in a second. And I actually think that cutscene healed me. This section's awesome. You get to explore the village a little bit, and you have to run through this field while there's werewolves running around. And uh, But if you know what to do, you can skip them. So I find some survivors here. They're uh, trying to survive. They need my help. And, uh, you know, I'm a good guy. I'm Ethan Winters. I'm a great guy. And I decide to help them. Skip that. I've helped them over to here. And now they said that the people in this house will help me. And while that's true, uh, that guy there got bit. I have to wait on this woman. Dude, you think his hand's bad now? Just wait. He's wrapped it up, so at least it's not so bad. I don't know if you see that there. Oh, hey, just chilling my lightsaber. Yeah. Rick Grimes. Um, so she takes me into here. There's a ton of people, but the guy that got bit, as you can see, um, I have to get attacked by him because I can't shoot him. Um, or else... I don't get the achievement. Now I need to find a key for this. He turns and kills everybody and lights the house on fire. We're trapped inside the house. I have to uh, look through the house and find this key. And there's a screwdriver in here. I'm gonna take that. Um, and that can start the truck. And I try and ram Damn, ourselves the fire's out moving fast. <sighs> using this truck. It doesn't quite work. Don't worry. And uh, it didn't work. We crashed there. We jumped out of the truck, so we're climbing you, here. <coughs> now, unfortunately, this Kind's. is a very nice woman. Her name is uh, Elisa. She died right there. Her her dad came back, and she tried I to just, be like, Dad, no, don't okay. turn. And he, he fell into the fire, and then she fell right down after him. Ethan's very upset. He liked all those people. He just showed up. Every single person is dead every person he just met and they're the only people you'll meet for the rest of the game the only sane ones and they're gone immediately upon me so we just saw our first glimpse of a character named mother miranda mother miranda everybody talks about her everybody prays to her here in this village um this woman talks about her death. Yes. Death has them all. <laughs> I haven't saved yet I'll probably save once I get into the village 
or uh, into the castle. That's where I'm headed now. Castle Dumitres. Guess this leads to the castle. A um, little bit of a puzzle here. Not really, uh, but maybe only not really because I've played the game before. Um, I kind of knew immediately what to do, though. So, heading up to the castle. I am going to have to... Uh, I get caught huh? by my favorite character in the game. Everybody loves Lady D. Uh, Lady Dimitrescu is cool. Not near as cool as this guy, Carl Heisenberg. Um, I'm going to play a little bit of a cutscene and spare some time because... Well... This one here, I love the way Carl Heisenberg tells everybody to shut the F up. Else, and my daughters do so These are the lords. Four lords. I have to take them all down to get to Mother Miranda, who is that main one in the center. My daughters and I shall deliver to you. Please, I want to see. He's awake. I love that. That's all we're watching. Um, they're playing a game with me. Essentially, they've released me to the wolves. That's right. Run for your life. Him talking. That's Carl Heisenberg, and he is awesome. Very nice. <laughs> See, I killed this man, but there he is again. He came back to me. I'm not going to kill him now. If my hands are bound, there's nothing I could do. Shit! <laughs> My word. You truly are as strong as they say. I'm going to trigger this big oh, blade thing. It's like, oh no, what do I do? Ah, it's coming for me. What do I do? There's a little cubby hole in you can pain. duck into here. So now I died like 15 times trying to find this the first time I played the game. Grand <laughs> Can't skip this. Nothing like fresh American that would really hurt his hands. <laughs> But not nearly as bad as other things hurt his hands. Too close. And his legs. Wait, do those freaks have Rose? Oh yeah, they do. They got Rose. They got the baby. I'll get her too. In pieces. As odd as that sounds. It's not as awful as that sounds either, though. So this is where I was. Before I was rudely interrupted by Carl Heisenberg, who captured me, took me into their little hideout area. Uh, we're also just about to meet the Duke. The Duke is the merchant in this game, where he's where you can buy things, sell things, upgrade your weapons, get ammo, get health, uh, get attachments for guns, all kinds of stuff. He's gonna be right there. Look at this dude. Oh yeah, that's a big boy, baby. That's a big boy. Why do they want the baby? Well, that's what I'm wondering. At this point in the game, my character's like, what do they want my damn baby? And I don't know what they want with the baby. So I'm trying to figure that out. Could Rose be here? Oh, I don't want to go that way. That's not the way to go. I always go that way because there's some treasure in there, but I'm not going in there. Take some time. All right, I'm in Castle Dimitrescu. This scene here, you meet Lady D's daughters. I'm not going to uh, be watching that. They cut my leg and drag me on hooks from my leg and then hang my, in me by my hands up on these hooks here. This is awful. I have to rip these hooks out of my hands. Oh, God. It's so nasty every time. I've done this I don't know how many times. It's just nasty. But don't worry, he got that liquid. Crazy witches. That's witches, children. See, this is magic liquid. This is normally when you heal, he just dumps this liquid on whatever wound he has. And it heals it up. It's just some magic liquid. He talks about it too. He's like, this stuff is crazy. Why does this work? Oh, I am gonna take this. That's Lady D's glass. I'm not gonna sell it now, but I'm gonna sell it on a later playthrough because, you know, probably gonna play this again.
for whatever reason, Rose is very important. <sighs> the baby is very important. And I'm not so much. So, need to... A lot of the items in this game you have to examine and take apart. I'm going to need that eye in a little while, so it's better to do that here as opposed to when an enemy's chasing me. Let's see, you're not going to see Lady D yet. Where have they taken Rose? One of the things that I will do, though, I'm going to go slightly out of my way to unlock this, because that'll matter later. If I don't unlock that, Lady D is going to really mess me up later. I need to be able to get through there. But you can explore the castle here. Um, I, of course, know where to go. And I need that eye that I just showed you you could take out of that ring. This is where you meet Cassandra, I haven't cut open one of her daughters. They're bug women. They Let can change into one. bugs. They're Slice awful. Slice your jugular and just watch. Taking a lie, dead witch with Once again, I know where to go, so this is a little easy for me. Um, oh, you'll see Lady D right here. She's enjoying some music and wine. Or blood. She's kind of like a vampire in that way. For those who don't know, Lady D is very tall. Um, I am going to use a weapon here because I can. You have to shoot this thing to light these. Let me make sure that I can. That doesn't count against it. You can check. So knives out. Zero used. I'm good. I'm good. So I can use guns for puzzles. This is the dungeon underneath the castle. Um, it's not a great place. I would argue that it's a very bad place. A lot of treasure, though. I'm not going to get any of it. Pull out my double blade. I know where they all come from. They were going to keep spawning, but I am running to fight that sister. There are three sisters, or daughters, I guess, of Lady D. I can't D. believe Cassandra caused all this mess. They are weak against cold. So you find that out right up here. Because you shoot a window. Where are you going? And the cold air from outside really messes them up. Yeah. All right, I got it. As she should. As she should what? I'm not selling those things, but I'm collecting them at least. Ooh, money bag. I'll take that. I don't need that lock pick. Um, ah, oh, dude, I forgot. I need this wine back here. There's a specialty bottle of wine that I need to unlock where I need the key. All right, I gotta speed up a bit. Back in the main hall. Come through here and use that wine. And as soon as I go to the room where I'm going to need to use this key, another daughter is going to spawn and not let me pass. And I'm supposed to run away. She was enjoying her music and wine, as she should. Yeah, absolutely. Shall I give you the tour? See? She's going to block the door from me, but if I attack her, she'll leave for a second. There we go. And I can just walk through her and she won't hurt me. She's still after me, but she's on like a recharge for a second. And she won't come out here because it's too cold. Uh, I think Lady D was born in the early 1800s um, from some of the things that you can read in this game. This is her right here. Huh. 
she's really mad because I've killed one of her daughters. What have you done to my daughter? Okay, so that looks there. These dudes look here. Lots of puzzles. That's right, I turn her. There we go. These puzzles are really, really fun to figure out too. Um, so, if you ever decide to play the game, don't, don't cheat. What the hell? Oh yeah, and Taylor, you have a PS4. You can play this. It's on PS4. I'm just running past all these enemies because I got to go. This one I don't think I can run past. <sighs> there is a section late in the game that I'm worried about. <laughs> I won't have any of my stuff. Let's skip the cutscene. This game is really, really fun. A lot of puzzles, kind of horror stuff. It's uh, it's pretty good. Lady D's gonna pop through right here. Oh shit! <laughs> she la she Go literally ahead. punches Do me through worst. the ground, back into the dungeon. Uh, I am going to let a little bit of a cutscene play out here just because uh, I was so stunned the first time I saw it. I wasn't ready for it. Um, yeah, I won't talk. I'll just let you experience it because uh, it's coming up right here. Just going along, minding my own business. Oh. Every time that used to get me. You will learn what it means to She upset. She mad. And I don't currently have a hand. So I, I'm gonna need to go get that back. Should still be attached. Yep, there it is. I got my hand. Where where's she at? Oh. Oh God. Oh God, please God, no. Oh, she's chasing me. I'm very hurt. Oh, open, open, open. All right, we got through. <laughs> Running will get you nowhere. Can't skip this. I've tried. See, they don't let me. Gotta watch him reattach his hand. More magic liquid. This castle. I wouldn't say it's good. No, not that way. I'm gonna find another daughter in here after I play the piano. And I'll have to avoid Dimitrescu again. Uh, Dimitrescu is a enemy that wanders the castle at all times, and her daughters are too, and they can all be after you. They're invincible when in those settings, so you just kind of have to run and hope. There it is. I 
I like that little piano riff there. That gives me this key. You guys really don't realize how much I'm skipping. Dimitrescu's gonna be at the top of these stairs. See, there you are. No, no, oh god, no, oh god, no. I used the wrong key. Okay, okay. Come in, come in here. This is taking time for me now. Where is she at? Is she not coming? Oh god. Oh Jesus. Let's wrap things up quickly. Alright, here's the daughter. There's a hatch over here so that I can open. Got her. Yeah, you know, having gross, nasty, severed bugs. beef hand stuck on is uh, better than no hand at all. I suppose you're right. Gotta get these masks. If you haven't noticed, I've been collecting masks. Um, I need a gun in this portion. Because um, see these bells here? You have to find them all. There's however many bells. I think four or five. Oh, one. Got it. There's a bell right there. Two. A little bell there. Three. A bell outside. Four. And then there's a little hidden bell in the chandelier right here. Five. And that is how you get to the roof. Yo, this woman's so tall. But your line of sight is where her hips are. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, she real tall. She could hold me like a baby. Up here on the roof, there's flying enemies. I might be able to hit some of them. I'm going to run past a lot of them. Because, you know, I'm using a lightsaber. This little chair is normally where the sniper rifle sits in the main campaign. It's where you get it. But for me, it's just a bit of money. These are the flying enemies. Where are they at? Oh, yeah. They're really gross. They're those same things I was fighting in the dungeon. But they've grown wings. Their mutation made them grow wings. Dude, these guys are going to mob me on the other side. I've got a zip line over to get the mask. You're supposed to kill these. Clearly. If you have the ammo. So I'll kill them. I will have problems in a minute. Got the mask. We're doing all right on time, I think. Where am I at? 32 minutes. Okay, I'm 30 minutes in, and I'm about to finish the castle. This is one of the, the bigger sections of the game is the castle, and I'm going to finish it very quickly. So, doing all right. The next... Oh, wait. I was supposed to go down that elevator. That's my better bet. The next section... Um, from that cutscene you saw the little doll that doll is not actually alive it's controlled by a woman <laughs> named Donna Beneviento that's where I'm headed next House Beneviento this is Castle Demitresque House Beneviento uh, what is it the Swamp Moreau Moreau Swamp Stupid man thing. this is why I wanted this door unlocked Without it unlocked, I couldn't run. do that. Um, but Moreau is like that nasty looking dude, and uh, he controls the swamps. And then Heisenberg is the last one that I'll go to. And uh, he has a factory, it's Heisenberg's factory. 
grab that mask, which locks that door behind me. So I have to have a mask in place to leave. Now this is a place, those daughters cannot be hurt unless there is cold air. So right now there's no cold air, so I can shoot that and it didn't hurt. But Lightsaber was malfunctioning. I got her. That's the mask, but it won't fit because it's on a plaque, so I gotta take it off the plaque. And now it'll fit in the mask's place. Crazy witch. Okay, I should be able to get out with these. That looks horrible. Lady D's right out here. Sometimes I can get past her, sometimes I can't. And today is the a... No, no. Love you. It's a non-get past her. I can't fit through there. By the likes of you. Damn it. Come on. that four so that's the one I just got which was joy no joy oh my god pleasure oh my god sorrow pleasure joy rage okay I've got all the masks so now I can fight lady D go 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 oh god oh god go 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 let's wrap go go things like that that could just end my run out of nowhere especially because I haven't saved it all if something bad happens, I could reload from a previous save. It's too late now. I'm. This is Lady D's boss fight. I Let's stab her with that, outside. and Max she turns into that. Full on. Oh man, I'm already hurt a little bit. Maybe I can. Come on. Getting behind her is the key. Getting behind her is kind of tough in this fight, but if you're quick, you can do it. Can't hit her here. Dare you talk about saving your daughter when you murdered mine? That's true. I mean, it is pretty rude. I need to save my daughter, but I murdered all three of yours. You can run, but you can't hide. Nothing I can do about these bugs. Ain't nothing I can do about these bugs. I need to get behind her again. Oh, I'm already on to the next part of the fight. I heard her enough in the first phase. I didn't even have to do it twice. That's really good. I don't normally do that. I did get like right behind her. So she's just flying around, being the B word. Time for you to die. Oh, this is this part of the fight is 
Easy. I got her. I'm done. That's Castle Dimitrescu. Over. Skip. I got her. Now. You're the one who's cursed. What you find is this. This is a flask. It is a piece of my daughter Rose. I think this is the maybe her torso uh, like flask. This place. So this is the flask contain dirty flask. That flask is containing her torso. Rose. And then I'm going to have to find her arms with one of the uh lords and her legs with one of the lords and then her head. And through those flasks, there's like a ceremony site where they're going to put them all together and make her whole again. You can kill these fish, too, um, and sell them at the Duke. He can make you special uh, plates of food that will permanently increase your health, permanently increase your walking speed, permanently increase your blocking ability. Um, I already have made all of them and have them equipped and on, so I don't need to kill anything. This key, this winged key I just received in that cutscene, I met that old woman again and she basically gave it to me. And uh, I keep adding on to that key more wings and stuff to open more areas of the village. Now that I am done with the castle, I come back. This is the official ceremony site. It's called the Ceremony of the Four Kings. That's why. Um, Yeah, that's that's where it'll all go down at the end. More lichens just watching me. Oh, Jesus. More casual. I didn't expect him to run out and do all that right away. that and now I'm kind of back at the village and uh, I have some keys and some things that are opened up to me so I can explore more of the village get more items do more stuff see the Duke here there you are I had a feeling skip save some time later I'm gonna go ahead and place each flask as I get them oh this was her head that's my baby's head can't skip these, but I can skip that. It's just, uh, what the hell? it was like a vision of the ceremony site. And this has two wings, which is why I use the winged key. That's the four wing door. And that's, no, that's a four wing door. That's a four wing, four wing fetus door. I think I add a fetus to it. And then there's a six wing door as well. So I have to come through here. Basically, the Duke said I have to go and find this thing to get more wings on my key. It's in the village, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try and do it as fast as possible. Oh, yeah. I need a crank to get that thing lifted up. Let me get that now. Always forget. It's oh seven oh four oh eight. Get some money in here too. All right, I got the crank, but there's going to be a buttload of enemies out here. Try and skip them. If I just crouch and back up. Yep, there we go. I skipped all of them. Nothing they can do. You're supposed to go through this the front way, but if you go through backwards, it saves a lot of time and you don't have to fight any of the enemies. There's a big bastard up here. Oh, 
I'm hurt. Trying to get some health back. your bite. Odd how I'm immune to these guys. This is the big bastard. The armored one. Oh, I got him. Sweet. Moving right along. Uh, you can kill some wild boars around here, some chickens. All of them get you food at the Duke, like I was mentioning. I, of course, don't need any of that. I don't think I need this house open, just in case. And I'll go ahead and unlock this. Now into this house here. I'm completely skipping major sections, by the way. There are some major, major things. I'm not getting the crank wheel or uh, the well wheel or whatever. A lot of stuff I'm not doing. Open that. Dude, I suck. Let me... Let me use this guy to regain some health, at least. Or just so he can take it right back away. Jeez. Oh, I killed him. That lightsaber there is uh, making it hard to see what I'm supposed to do. So I just combined the key and that piece together, and now I have the four. Better see the Duke again. Go back to the Duke. I don't know what my time's at. So this where I'm heading now is the scary part. Uh, Donna Beneviento, I, honest to God, hate this section. I hate the sound that I'm going to have to hear. I hate... You truly wish to... I, I hate all of it. It's just not a good part. It is. It's cool. The puzzle was really fun, but God, it's so nerve-wracking. It's going to be less so because I'm going to be going fast and I know what I'm doing, but when you don't and you're just fumbling around down here and then what happens happens oh but you walk through here and it's already creepy there's all these like hanging dolls everywhere if you haven't figured it out donna beneviento loves dolls what's really going on is she's using the flowers in this forest to kind of control my mind this forest doesn't look like this and when i kill her and come back through here it will all be very different what that doll she has does not really speak Come with me. There's something I have to tell you. Mia? What's going on? That's my wife. With our baby, Rose. Rose feels different. Ethan, you have to fix her. They're setting the up. Hell is this? Everyone leaves me. Even Rose. I don't want to be alone. They're setting up that maybe this Rose was never really born. Maybe we lost Rose. I don't have to look at that grave. Am I losing it? Big, big sub boss that we could fight later, later, but we're not coming back this way after we leave. I have to leave a family photo in this slot to get this door to open. What's going on? That was the only thing in your inventory when you started the game in the snow. <sighs> On to House Beneviento. I love the look of the house, don't get me wrong, but Jesus, this part is horrifying. Come with me, Ethan. 
Uh, yeah, I, I, you get Rosemary's Baby's vibe. Um, but what they're doing is they're setting up, and, and she's going to play a bunch of audio of phone calls with my wife Mia and things like that, hinting at that my baby never was born and died in the womb. And, and then you'll see what happens. Um, this is one of my... I'm going to lose a little bit of time here. This is one of my favorite views in the whole game. I love this. I think this house looks awesome, right on the side of a mountain next to a waterfall in the snow. It's so cool. The art direction in this game is incredible. And the inside of this house looks incredible. Look at this. This crap looks real. But, alas it is not, thank God. But I don't need anything on this floor. I'm heading straight to the basement. They could use some new wallpaper. She can make me think whatever she wants. She wants me to think that the wallpaper's gone bad. All right. Here we go. God, I hate it down here. Normally, you're like exploring and stuff, and you're like, what is happening? And nothing's scary yet, really. I mean, the forest was kind of weird, but in this house, you're feeling a little comforted. You're hearing some music? Huh, what is that? Oh, damn it, it's that doll. And she's got a flask. Surely it's not this easy. I can't skip this. What? I right, wake up. Wait, where's my gun? All of my weapons are gone, and there's just this doll that looks like my wife Mia. It's modeled to look like Mia. And I have to inspect it. This is going to have some eyes in the bottom. They're shut. I need to get the turn thing out of here. Need to get the ring off her finger. Oh man, I don't remember the ring code and it would be just as much time to look it up, so. I'll have to do it the old fashioned way. I think it's here that I take the leg off. And I get the little turner key thing, yeah. Winding key. Um, I need this ring. I don't need her eye. That'll save me some time. Now the ring's covered in blood and I can't see, you know, I'm like, that's all they tell you is that the ring's covered in blood and that, that's a picture of dead Mia. Um, but use the key you just found in that mannequin. You can come right here to the sink, use the water to wash off the key. This was fun to figure out the first time. Now I'm irritated that I have to do it. If I would have just remembered the code, I could have skipped all this and just typed the code in on the door. So the key is now clean. I will be able to see the code in the back, um, which zero five two nine one one. Got it. All right. This puzzle right here, um, which you're nervous because you don't have any of your weapons, anything. These doors are moving open randomly. Something's off down here for sure. And you don't know why. why is this here? But you're finding all these things. It's Mia, your wife. You know, this is our wedding box. You would have found this in your house had you been playing the game normally. Um, I think this goes maybe, maybe there. That's not right. That's right. That's, I think that's right. Hey, I got it on the first try. 
This puzzle always gives me trouble. You have to line up the scratches perfectly to, to make it open. And that gives me tweezers. But, uh, you know, everything that's been set up is mine and Mia's wedding, our relationship, things like that. Um, so with the tweezers, I can get in her mouth. That gives me a film strip. Normally you can twist your eye and see something I don't need to. I know what it's what it is. It shows me a bird. That's a call from my wife. I'm leaving without listening to it, but she talks about losing her baby and stuff. It's awful. And you know, you start questioning yourself. This puzzle took me a quick second to so if I remember correctly, it's her best friend, our love forever. I think that's first. I think that's right. That's right. No, that's not right. That's it. And you're watching this and you're like, where's this leading? Oh god, a well? I don't like wells. And a rocking crib. Oh, maybe that's my daughter. This is about to get messed up. And I hate this sound. Okay. scissors and this teaches you that the scissors can cut through bandages normally you can interact with that phone I'm not messing with it it ain't nothing but some terrible people taunting me hey Mia my baby come back here she's floating what the hell's she doing oh she's gone things are just falling things go wrong in this house it's awful. It's awful. But it's wonderful, too. Don't get me wrong. I love this section of the game. But, God, it is horrifying. Not going to save it yet. There was a save back there. I'm going to place that medallion. I think it's a bird flying to the right. And the three eyes closed that we saw a minute ago. And this looks familiar like the film we just saw, doesn't it? Oh no. Now, I'm going to try and avoid seeing this thing too much because it is very graphic. It's awful. Um, but uh, it's like a car sized. And I'm not kidding. Aborted fetus crawling with like crazy messed up legs through the hallways, dragging its umbilical cord around. It's awful. And it's chasing you, and you have no guns or anything. You have to hide under beds or in cupboards. The crying's not what bothers me. You'll know what bothers me. I'm going to save it here just in case the baby eats me or something. So there's blood and umbilical cord already through here. And there it is. We run in a round. You gotta run away at this point. So we have that key that we just got from the well. It opens the lockbox. Luckily, I know the best best paths to avoid the baby, but it doesn't always follow the same paths. So sometimes I get screwed, like it could pop up behind me here, and that would be bad. 
Although I'd kind of want it to. I don't know where it is. I hear it. Damn, baby. Okay. I, I avoided it. It's coming back with a vengeance, though. And you're down here and you're like, oh, yeah, this is great. There's light. Nothing bad can happen to me down here. Oh, that was creepy? Just wait. It's worse when you really don't know what's happening either. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open that just in case I want to use it. I needed the, the fuse. Okay, I can hide under that bed. What do you think, chat? Under the bed or in that box? Because uh, that baby's popping out now. Under the bed? Under the bed it is. Too late. I'm under the bed. Taylor was faster. I just gotta wait this out. There's nothing I can do. I just have to wait. If I move and it catches me, I'm dead. It's an instant kill. If you're in the cupboard, you can see it more, and it's, like, grosser, and it does this thing where it starts, like, <laughs> and, like, bobbing its head at the thing, and it's, dude, it's weird. It's awful. I might could run. I don't know. I don't know if I want to chance it. I'm going to chance it. I'm running. I'm running. Dude. It says a bunch of different things. Like, I've heard different things every time I play it. I, like, nine or ten times through this, and I'm not as bad as I was. But this was a, a real stress for me. I don't do well with horror games, surprisingly enough. I like them pretty good. But I don't play many of them because I'm, I'm just... So I called the elevator. The fuse is coming. But I gotta survive for a bit. I know how to juke this thing pretty well. Elevator should be here. Yes, yes, yes. Go, 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 go. Done. Scary part's over. Now I gotta play hide and seek with that damn doll, but I know all the places. Yeah, it's terrible. It's awful. And as you can see, everything's like got like that weird haze to it. It's because of that that drug thing that I'm breathing in, which is about to go away. So there's a cutscene here. And then I'm finding that doll. And all some of these dolls are like going nuts, their heads are spinning and crap. Like see. Like, Dude, this was a nightmare the first time I played through it. Good lord. Alright, now the doll goes a couple of places. She always goes here first. But there's a couple of places in the house she could go. And I can't skip these. Well, the good news, guys, is it's not real, so. Hey, 
Hey, first try. Let's see if the next place is first try. You're doing this to Rose, too. She should be up here on the right. And nope. So she's going to be in through this door on the ground. And this is where I see who's truly behind everything. Donna Beneviento. Stupid idiot! What are you doing to my cute friends? It wasn't the doll. It was Donna Beneviento. Alright, I got the fetus part of the key. I just gotta connect it. Now it's a winged fetus. There we go. So that's who was behind all this? Pick up her doll, Angie, because I can sell her later and get my daughter's legs. That makes two. All right, scary parts are over. Let's go. Why wouldn't it open that door? <sighs> it's such a relief to have that part over, and that's not even like a hard part. Like, I can't, I can't die. I mean, I can, but I knew it wouldn't potentially ruin my run whereas other parts could but that that part was pretty it's always stressful I think it's this way all the assets in this game are so high quality like the Resident Evil engine that they use when they design this game make the graphics look so good. Everything is so high quality. It's awesome. They actually 3D scan everything in. Not everything, but a lot of things in. So, like, the bricks that they use for everything. They just scanned in real bricks, which is why they look so good. That key, they probably made a real key. I really want the money in here, but it's going to spawn enemies. Where's the money? There's the money. There it is. I'm out. There's a whole another area I could explore up there. Play more than words. I would love to, Mason. Unfortunately, I don't have time. I'm on the clock. Could go around there and fight a buttload of enemies. But I'll instead choose to cope. Oh, out of my way. To go up this way. And fight only a couple. Uh, or just the one. We did it. We're out of Beneviento. And we can go straight into Moreau. I'm going to have to fight a horrible beast here. Um, Cutscene's going to happen right now. Skip, though. Ah. I don't know how many hits this thing takes. That many. These things are so hard. <laughs> Your first time through. I know I'm making it look very simple. It's not. Your first time through is a nightmare, and on Village of Shadows, you have to fight two of them right there. I pay no attention to you. A lot of exploring you can normally do to find all these ways and paths to go. I'm going to be skipping entire sections in just a minute, though. Like, that door right there. Yeah, Peter didn't know what to do. Um, that door, I ain't going through there. Completely skip that. I'm not going to save. I'm already a little past the halfway point now. now. What am I at? What's my time? An hour and six minutes, so... 
There's a couple of sections coming up that will take some time. Uh, one of the boss fights, I'm gonna, ha I'm not gonna be able to use my lightsaber, and that thing is gonna take. That's gonna take some time, and that is where I'm anticipating having to use a heal. I haven't had to use a heal yet. I am actually allowed a heal or two, but, uh, and probably for those sections. But I'm gonna try and get away without using any heals at all. The ugly beast getting, getting what? <laughs> getting cocky? No, I'm not getting cocky. Damn freak! I'm pretty sure, like, you'll see, there's a couple of bosses that are going to take a minute to kill because they're a nightmare. This guy's gross, man. Moreau. And it's, uh, you know, a play on Dr. Moreau. How do I get out of here? And the, the swamp thing. He's really gross. I'm going to try and grab this key and run. I don't want to fight any of these guys. And I mean the guys that spawn. Jump down. Oh, I think I can get away. A lot of dudes spawn there, and a couple of armored lichens. Really don't want to have to deal with armored lichens. Wow. Well, that was a quick exchange. I'm going to try to avoid fighting these guys and just get right into the boat. There's a guy in that house that I just passed. Boat key. Yep. Can't skip this. Oh. Skipping a lot of stuff. A lot of fights. You're about to see uh, Moreau and what he's turned into. So at this point in the game, I really don't... My character, Ethan, really does not know what's going on. You know, he's still not quite sure why they have Rose, his daughter. What was that? He thinks his wife is dead. Um, he's just trying to save his daughter at this point, and that's all he really knows. Um, he doesn't know why Chris Redfield, a good guy from all the other Resident Evils, who is right here. This is where you see Chris again. What the hell? Research post or something? What the fuck are they doing here? Okay, Chris isn't going to pop out. Well, I was going to say, Chris pops out and talks to you, and is basically like, I don't have time to explain what's going on, Ethan. But know that Rose, your daughter, is very important. And uh, we get separated because this big fish bastard separates us. So what am I supposed to do? Uh, he said the exit's in the water. The Duke is in there. I can just stop and shop. Not gonna. Save point in there. Passed about a million save points. Some tur uh, chickens over there. Almost said turkeys. Chickens over there that I could kill. Um, but no point. You're supposed to interact with that crank over there. I'm not going to do that either. Um, let's try. If you can avoid climbing down the ladders, you save a lot of time. Not every ladder can be avoided. I'm going to need a gun here. That'll make my life easier in a bit. You just can't harm an enemy with the guns. If I even shoot the boss with a gun once, run over. Put that gun away, because I don't want any accidents to happen. What? What is going on? Did I not get the other side? I thought I got the other side. Oh, I'm losing time. Oh, no. Alright, that was kind of close to shooting the boss. I want to see if I, I messed it up. Knives out, zero used. I'm still good. 
I'm still good. I haven't messed it up yet. Okay, so... This is a whole, like, kind of puzzle section. I know these puzzles inside and out, so I just run through and do them, but... This is gross. Uh, stinks. So I need to hit blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Should get me across. Oh no. How? I have to do it all over again. I'm losing so much time here. Okay, so. Oh, because blue is still up. That's why I lost time there. Blue. Yellow. That. And then I go. Go. Go, 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 go. Alright, I'm in. Alright, so I need to trigger him. Oh, no. No, did I just die? I died. That's okay, that's okay. What is my time? 13? I'm allowed to die, it just it takes time away, so I try not to. I've never died there, ever. Not even a single time. I just Out and get back up this. All right, now I can go. I'm allowed to die. I'm allowed to die. So good. So good. I've just lost a lot of time in this particular section. Looks like I caught me a big one. Caught myself a big one. Need to get out of here. All right. And believe it or not, I'm almost done with this section. Almost done with Moreau. Heisenberg's gonna take a second. His factory is pretty lengthy. Let's see. I need to go there. I need to investigate this, or else it won't let me move this. I don't know why it's like that. Even pausing it takes time. So I'm trying to not drink too much water because uh, literally a pee break will cut into my time unless I save it back out to the main menu I guess I shouldn't have to pee I think I'm good at the current moment in time I'm good so I'm having to turn these, these windmills and I needed that crank to do it the crank is also an item that I needed in other parts of the village but did not have access to it. 
you do got to keep it low key sometimes. Sometimes you don't want nobody knowing you're there. I got a lot of viewers right now, actually, and pretty much okay. all of them. I say a lot of viewers. I've got some viewers. And some of them ain't even talking. They just keeping it low key. All right. So I need to come here. I need to drain this. Uh, this always. Wait, that's blue, I think. And that's blue. There we go. Drain the water on him. Got it. He's invincible right here, so. But I'm going to the arena to fight him. He is going to. Be pissed. Trying to kill him before he gets up there. Oh, no, he got up there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, get to cover. Oh, here we go. Acid rain. Didn't heal me life. though. Disgusting. The exit's up ahead. Now that I've drained the lake and everything, there's a ton of treasures that I could get. But you know what it is. I'm, I'm blowing through. I already picked up the flask. That was in a cutscene. You guys missed it. But I had her leg flask or torso flask, I guess. That's Heisenberg. Who just put that on the TV and he's like Ethan Winters come to my factory I want to talk to you uh, he's awesome yeah that was really fast uh, Moreau is I've I, I can shave a lot of time off Moreau Moreau should take a lot longer than that but there's a lot that I skipped and that's the third Lord dead um, out of four Lords Heisenberg's the last Lord um, the cool thing about Heisenberg is he's, uh, he's basically, uh, when I get there, he's going to proposition me and he's going to let me know that Rose, my baby, she is, so Mia, my wife in the seventh game was affected by basically what's controlling all of these people. Um, and, and that's mold, a, a type of mold. Well, she had a baby who was born to that mold, basically. And because of that, trying to see if this thing can heal me at all. No, I didn't get any health off of that. Um, because she's born to the mold, she's like, she can kind of control it. She's very powerful, and that's why everybody in the village wants her. And Mother Miranda, who does Heisenberg make meth? He, yeah, basically. You see what he makes. He makes some stuff. I think we all know who Ugly Beast is. Somebody figured out how to change their name. Um, 
but Mother Miranda wants Rose's power. There's a lot of money in here that I'd preferably not skip, so. It's 20 grand right there. Normally it's a grenade launcher, one of these bad boys. Oh yeah, I guess I can just go straight to Heisenberg. Everyone knows. Um, for those who don't know, my we call my mom the ugly beast in my house. Oh, oops, wrong key. So we always have, we always will. I don't, I don't really know why it, or how it started, but it did. So you could go that way, and there's like a bunch of extra stuff over there that's pretty fun. <laughs> But anyway, Heisenberg wants to use Rose because he hates Mother Miranda. He's angry at her. He didn't want to be turned into a freak. What a freak he is. Let's, uh, let's get some health. Try not to. Jesus Christ. All I want is a little health. Especially for this part. Good lord. Ah. I'm just going to try and run past this part. A lot of it. There are so many enemies here. There's a couple of armored guys coming. I don't know. I might have to use a health. Here's the hope, and I don't. I think I skipped an armor. Yeah, the armor guy didn't spawn. I don't know why that didn't happen. He is always spawn. That's incredible. What a blessing. Now I just have to survive while I'm up here. This section is going to be a little harder than that inside the stronghold. Once I'm in, done with the stronghold, I'll have I'll have all the pieces to Rose, and I'll be able to trigger a bridge to Heisenberg's factory. And just because this part's a little tough, uh, we're going to go ahead and save it. How's my time? 125. So I have an hour and a half to finish the game, and I am definitely not that far away. I think I'm going to finish around two hours, 15 minutes. This must be their den. Popular scene from the trailers. They all come jumping down. If I'm fast enough, I don't have to fight that many. There's a lot in here. Whoa, hi.
Yeah, I'm like, I'm moving faster than they can spawn almost. Okay, big guy. Okay, armor. A lot of dudes. Got the armor. I'm just Bolton. I'm Michael Bolton. That was a clean, clean run. I cannot even explain how clean that was. That was incredible. So that guy at the beginning of the game, Urias, that I talked about, that might not be his name, but it's something like that. The big nasty. This is where I have to fight him. And he's pretty tough, usually. Um, but the one that I'm really nervous about is I have to fight Urias' brother. And I don't remember his name. But Urias' brother, I'm not going to say. Urias' brother is armored version of Urias. And he is very difficult. And I won't have my lightsaber. I'm going to have a crap knife. That's not good. Attack this man. Alright, now he's gonna call down a wolf with him. I like it. Take care of that real fast. Behind him. I think that's it. So, pay attention to eat shit. This room is awesome because you can shoot down all of these little glowing things. They're all crystals that will sell for a good bit of money. However, I don't got that kind of time. And I'm not allowed to buy or sell anything anyway. Where's the plate? There's like a collection plate that's worth a lot. Torso flask. Here we go. Heisenberg. There's a vision. Heisenberg calls me again. And he's basically just like, oh, you got it. Come to my factory. I want to talk about Rose. There's the, there's the plate. So I'm finding out now that, you know, my daughter is very important because she's powerful. Um, and that's why Miranda wants her, because she's going to do some type of ceremony where she, like, I, I believe absorbs some of her power and or puts her consciousness into Rose so that she can be all powerful, essentially. That that was quick, but that's not, that's not uh, Heisenberg. And like I said, I skipped a whole section. I'm on my way to Heisenberg. The Heisenberg fight's crazy. It's like the, one of the most over-the-top moments in the whole game. That's why I love these games, though, is there are some really over-the-top moments. Oh, there's a boss enemy back there that I can fight to. What? I swear to God. I will lose time on you. I didn't do nothing to you. Where are you going, goat? That's what I thought. Bastard ass goats. Anyway. So uh I got all these flasks. It's my greatest pleasure to see you return alive. Can't skip these. That was pretty quick. Um, I was able to get Must through that area busy. very fast. But that's not a super long area to begin with. What? 
So, uh, all these are lighting all the way to the ceremony site. I basically put all the pieces to my daughter in the ceremony thing and I'm gonna plant it in the ceremony site. Seems like a bad idea, but I don't know how else to get my daughter back. What's going on? I just want my daughter back. For beating the game on the hardest difficulty, Village of Shadows, you get an achievement or a trophy called World's Greatest Dad. I like to think Ethan Winters is the world's greatest dad. And let's get so the factory's over there. That's where I'm headed. Factory has all types of horrors waiting inside. It's not really that scary. There's just some really terrible, terrible enemies in there. Oh, my butt hurts. I'm like leaning forward a lot this playthrough. Normally when I play, I like sit back some and don't worry about the I kid, haven't been doing that. It'll be fine. Ha! Just get your ass across the bridge. Let's see. Castle Dimitrescu somewhere. Ah! Ethan Winters. Welcome. I didn't think you'd make it past Donna Moreau. But I suppose you survived worse back in America, hmm? I like you. I'd like to speak to you about Rose and Miranda. Oh, come on in. Don't worry. I'm going to lose a little bit more time here, too, because there's there's a line that I absolutely planning? love from Carl Heisenberg coming up. It's right, uh, it's right in this room, actually. It's him telling somebody to shut the F up again. I just love it. I love this guy. What the hell? Mia? Truth hurts, don't <gasps> Let me guess. You're thinking, take me out like the others, and then he gets to go and save Rose, right? I'm healing my daughter. Look, you, you, you got this all wrong. Tell him to Shut your fucking hole! I love him. I'm sorry about that. Uh, he ends up throwing me down in that hole and I get to meet what was down here. That being. This dude. Propeller head. I'm not doing that. That ain't me. That's a part of a cutscene, so. Oh, and I can skip this too. I don't know why I was watching. I'm running for it. There's nothing I can do. Dead end. Damn it. Yeah, he might. Plotting and scheming and cursing and What was that thing? Alright, we're gonna see how fast I can clear this factory. The factory is labyrinthian but i i know it pretty well There are these dudes in here called Soldats. I just like that name, the Soldats. I don't even think I'm allowed to shoot a Soldat. This so like right here in the up. factory. I've got to get upstairs. Look at these graphics. These graphics are insane. Really, really good. This whole game's graphics are incredible. Uh, that's the Duke. I ain't even need to go in there and see him. So in this factory. 
there is a smelter. And in said smelter, I have to melt metals and create keys and gears and cogs and all kinds of stuff to get me through. I'm going to keep revisiting this room and going to different levels of the factory. Turning power on and stuff like that. And I think I know the best routes. Never looked them up, but I think I know them. Once again, for anybody who's watching, I'm not a speedrunner. If I was, I wouldn't be like, I'm going to lose time here to watch him tell somebody to shut the hell up. Um, I'm just trying to complete it in the set amount of time. Uh, I don't have what I need for that. I think it's this way. Uh, I've never been into speedrunning, really. Uh, even this stresses me out. This is a soldat. They're really cool. Do this too? My first mold. Got him. to wait on this. Anybody in the chat seen Encanto yet? <laughs> I can't get the songs from Encanto out of my head. It's been multiple times this stream that I almost started just like singing it. I was like, oh wait, people were watching. Don't get hit by those. We made it through. No, but I want to. It's a great movie. It's a really, really good Disney movie. And the music's awesome. The music's really good. And I know you would like the music because it's uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda. He wrote all the music to Hamilton and performed in it. He played Hamilton. I need to go... Can't do anything there yet. That can come up through here. Taylor, I think you're the one who showed me Hamilton. It was either you or Fiona. One of you were up here and we watched it. Sold that. I kind of wish I could show off all my cool weapons. Maybe I will at the end. Oh, 
All right, the cog is in and working. Now one of these soldats is gonna fall. I'm gonna have to fight him too. There's a lot of soul that's around here. The strong will destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. You should have never refused me even that. What? What? Oh God. I'm in a... I made a huge mistake. Okay, actually that wasn't that bad. I did get some health back. I'm gonna have to run. All right, no way in hell I'm dealing with that guy. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. All right, I escaped him. That was a that was a more powerful soul that, and the, as you can see, soul that's already kicked my ass. Uh, I gotta fight a soul that here for sure. Oh uh, yeah, it's one of them double ones. Hey, I got it. I had to be really careful because if I accidentally hit one of those things and it damages an enemy, I don't get the trophy. You again? If you haven't figured it out, Propeller Head's about to be a boss. Not quite yet. I escaped from here. There's an enemy coming up that I legitimately don't know how I'll be. I'm probably just going to try and run past him, but I, I hope I can. I think I can. If not, I'm sure the lightsaber will take him down. I just don't know how many swipes that'll take. I almost went down there. I don't need to go down. I need to go up. Got a long way to go. Say I'm about halfway done with this factory. Never, never been able to fall off that ledge. I always have to climb down the ladder, which once again adds time. I'm sure, there's a way to do it. Miranda All throughout the game, there are these hidden bird cages. Oh, she doesn't care for us. This was no. the last one I ever found right up here. I could go to the She's right there and do some stuff, but I'm not gonna that bird cage. They all give you like special Fire. items or just money and cool stuff. I don't give a shit about your family drama. What's your plan for? What's your plan for a way out again? Um, the game a way out with my dad. The plan there is uh, we're going to play a way out. Uh, I don't know. We're probably going to give it a week or two and pick up that, play it. I actually am pretty confident that it'll be in 
a PlayStation sale. Another one. All right, those guys weren't too bad. They've been harder in the past, so I have to use a gun here, but not on an enemy, so it's okay. Cool, yeah, I'm excited to play that game. Uh, I've heard good things about it. Um, of course, it's getting a lot more eyes on it because of It Takes Two being so successful. But, I mean, good for them. Good for Haze Light. I mean, they're gonna, they, they've got us gonna play it, so. But yeah, those uh, those of you who's watching, keep an eye out. I'm going to, you know, officially announce when my dad and I are going to stream our next game, which is A Way Out. Uh, also by Haze Light Studios. And yeah, it's going to be ridiculous. And also, also, those who tuned into the stream late. I have to use a gun here, too. Uh, you missed my dad's music in the stream at the very beginning. You could have hurried yourself from the very next game. Shit, that was close. There's some stuff I could do back there. Not gonna. Running past. A lot of if you've not played Resident Evil Village but you liked Resident Evil 4, I definitely suggest giving this a play. It is a very good spiritual successor to 4. I still like 4 best, I think, but this one's really, really good. Soon, she'll start her ceremony with your rose. If that happens, it's all over for your kid and for the whole village. But don't worry, I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. This is what I needed. <laughs> Poor Papa, you're the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. Take Rose? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. <sighs> So that mold will make a key to that door, but I have to go down to the smelter and make a mold or make a key with that mold. That key opens up some other things too. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, I know it's like 30 bucks right now, but yeah, I'm sure it'll drop. And yeah, Heisenberg's voice is a little unsettling. I love him. Took me a while to find, but there's a goat right here. There's all these hidden goats throughout the game, and I found them all already, but there was one hidden on some of this wiring as you go down. You have to hit it. It's dark. All the power's out. Oh no. I wonder if there's g g g g g g ghosts There's another soldat gonna be in the room, the smelting room. Good 
Dude, I love Heisenberg. Favorite character in the game. Now I just gotta go back, but there's gonna be some worse enemies, but I'm gonna try and avoid them. Especially this guy. This is a full armor. Oh, couldn't get past that. Another one right here. These are very imposing dudes. Normally, you have to knock the armor off somehow before you can attack them. Is this other one gonna come down here and mess me up? Okay, no, he's not, that's good. All right, let's go. Those were the guys I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna beat them if they're fully armored. I don't know if the lightsaber will actually do anything. Let's go up. Heisenberg's like right here at being done. What am I at? Hour 53. Or hour 51. Um, it might be closer to 2 hours and 30 minutes. Might be closer to 2 hours and 30 minutes. But maybe not. I'm, I'm getting really close. And you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm going to save it. Because this is a propeller head fight. And propeller head fight is tough. Can be. If I get him right. If I can get behind him. It won't be anything. I'll be able to just probably kill him right away. It's all if I can get you behind really him. You really are a tough one. Growing tired of chit chat. Time to die. All right. You can hear it. Here we go. Can you? Something. Wait. Can I get the? Oh, yeah, I can. I think I just beat him. Oh, my God. Can stay down? Yes. I beat him. That was very good. Where am I? There he is. I want his stuff for sure. All right. Let's go. That worked out really, really well. The last time I fought him was on Village of Shadows difficulty, and whew, that's a fight. Bye, factory. Bye. Uh, here, I would meet Carl Heisenberg, and he throws me in a hole again. Right back down in a hole. And I'm all the way at the bottom of the factory. But luckily, Chris Redfield is here. And that's what would happen right there with that cutscene. And Chris Redfield lets me in on everything. On the whole thing. Uh, I'm gonna save it here, too, because this is the Heisenberg fight. Um, I have to pilot this thing through the whole fight. What he lets me in on is that my baby is basically all powerful. I'm coming. And this is the only gun I can shoot. Uh, this and the final boss. Um, but uh, my baby's all powerful. That was not my wife at the beginning of the game. That was Mother Miranda, who is a shapeshifter, who shif shifted into my wife. She had captured my wife at some point and was pretending to be her to steal the baby. That's why Chris busted in, killed her. He didn't kidnap my baby. He took her to try and protect her from Mother Miranda, but it was too much to explain. We thought Ethan would get mad, so he was gonna transport Ethan to a safe place and let him in on everything, but that didn't happen. Oh, blow that up. Here we go. Heisenberg has mutated by You're like a goddamn cockroach! You think you can take me on? Fine. 
This will be my warm up before I kill the bitch. Let's say this. Man, a man. Two codes will be another addition to my arm. So this is the power of father love. Having fun. Hello! Cow! In the face of my steel glory! Guess I do have to thank that bitch for end her bliss. <laughs> I'll kill her with the power she gave me. That's what I call the good son! <laughs> the clock is ticking! Oh cool. I'm already uh I'm already done with the first part of the fight. So now I, I'm not allowed to shoot him anymore after this. He's gonna do an interview way knock me off. Fight the lights here. the game really took a weird turn. Uh, this is where Ethan Winters dies. Uh, your main character in the game passes away. Mother Miranda kills him. Uh, you kill Heisenberg and then Mother Miranda pops up. I can't skip any of this. You really should have taken my deal. Ethan dies in this cutscene. And I don't have a lightsaber anymore. Captain, I've I don't have any of my stuff anymore. I, wasn't able to I have Chris. Body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. In a while since we fought together, so now Captain, I'm Chris Redfield. When was the, last? the desert? Doing nothing but recons, guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my knife over there. Now that doesn't count as moving things in my inventory. Because I didn't move anything, I just equipped something. That's okay. Um, for the achievement. But I have to use this knife for this whole section. And this section is. Make Tough. contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. There's nothing we do. Watch If my run dies, it will be here. It will be this section. The boss at the end of this. Western rat is clear, moving out. That's not good. BSAA craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Don't get cocky. I haven't seen. But I think I can use flash grenades. I'm not going to attempt it. I'm not even going to try. There's going to be two real big bads that pop out here. I'm going to run past if I can. Let's 
see two of those big dudes. I'm out. I'm just gonna go. Hey boss, it's me. Maybe releasing infectious particles. Support fire. Keep your mouth solid. Roger. Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. That's what I wanted. Maybe two guys that pop into here once I use my night vision. Jesus. gonna run for it. I'm gonna run for it. If I can make it up to that area there. I'm still in the green on my health. I'm still in the green on my health. And cutscene. Okay, I made it through. That one section is probably the hardest. Of the, the enemies, Roger that, I can boss. use this thing only on this moment because this is the only way to get past it. Deep. So All I gotta right. wait till that reloads. But I'm actually gonna. Reloading now. Just a minute. There's a swarm headed that way. Shouldn't have come down here. Okay, Captain, I'm reloading. You. I should not have come down here. Can I get through? Yes. Mold is rapidly expanding. There must be something stimulating it. And they'll all die. Looks like it's about to collapse. Hold your horses. I'm reloading. It's them. I just have to get these guys. Ah, uh, no. Oh, do it, do it, do it. Don't attack me. I got it. Okay, on to the boss. On to the boss. The Mega My Seat is what is, gives power to the mold, it gives power to Miranda, it's back. what Rose has the ability to control. She basically is Mega Mycete. I'm taking these medical injectors because I've not used one yet. I've not used a single health, and I am allowed to use four, I think, for the to still get the achievement. I'm going to try and not use any but this dude here, this is the armored brother of Urias, and I don't expect this to go well. It, this is going to take a while, too. This is the other parts of his body can't be harmed. I got a tough guy here. I'm going to need backup. Uh, if you notice that I'm blocking a lot, that's because I can swing faster if I put a block in there because it cancels the animation. I'm supposed to be able to hit him with that target locator, but if I do it here, I will get dinged.
If I beat him, I go straight to the end of the game. This is like the end of my run. I have this boss and one more, but the next boss I'll have my lightsaber back. And it will be the final boss of the game. This is like the home stretch. Damn. He hit me. He gets more aggressive on the second bit of his life. here at the end this boss and then I go straight to the final boss this is the this is the hardest fight in the game on this doing this challenge everything I've talked about my run could end and all that stuff that's right here but I'm, I'm doing pretty good actually I, he's just got so much health, and he can only be attacked with a knife on this knee. The other leg is armored. It does no damage. So I have to get to this left leg, and even most of the leg is armored. I just have to hit it at the right spot. Could be it. Come on. So close. He's gotta have like a bee's dick of health. I'm oh, wearing this meat out. Jesus, go down. 
like I said, you're supposed to be shooting the things on his back and hitting him with that tar target designator that basically is a space laser. Yeah. Got him. That's it. That's the hardest fight in the game. As far as this I'll run is going. concerned. The rest of and you it's gone. Stay above ground. Now we get to see the Mega My seat. And then we get a little more so story. If Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. That is the Mega My seat. The living seat. here in the village, the kind of the source of everything. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. What, what time am I at? Two ten. I know it's too late now. I should be done by two twenty. Really I, I only have plan. ten minutes left there of that. Time. And, we didn't expect and that was the hardest part. So and when I get back to Ethan, Even I'll have so, full health. You should have told him. And he's definitely dead. Yeah. Ethan did die, but. This must be Miranda's lab. Right here we find Ethan's wife, Mia, the real one. But I wake up here as Ethan. This is pretty much the afterlife. Now, this is spoilers for Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 8 that's happening right here, so I don't know. Tune, tune away if you don't want to know, but uh, I'm going to say what it is in three, two. All right, so in Resident Evil 7, you deal with the mold and you deal with this family, and uh, it's this crazy th story, and you lose some limbs in that game too, and that magic liquid keeps go. healing them. Well, that that's weird. That's not normal, you see, and... Uh, where is the typewriter? I need to save. Am I am I stupid? Where is the damn typewriter? There it is. Um, as it turns out, at the beginning of the game, when you get knocked out by the owner of the house, the next thing when you come to, you're sitting at the table. You don't realize you died in that moment in Resident Evil 7. He killed you. You came back as mold, essentially the same things that they are, but different. You can kind of, you're a little different, but you're made of mold. You are essentially the virus reincarnate. So every time you die, you keep reincarnating. That's why you can heal with that magic liquid. That liquid wouldn't heal anybody but Ethan. And nobody's ever put that together because Ethan doesn't, you know, he's not like, man, I lost my hand and did this. They're like, what? He never says, I guess. And, uh, so you come back. My beautiful daughter. That's Mother Miranda. You fulfilled your purpose, soldiers. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious I can use... Now, please do not worry, the little rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with true happiness. Nothing I can do about that. So now you can die peacefully. Oh, great Mega Mice! Hear my prayer! Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in mind. I think this is the end. This is, how this is where I can shoot my gun one time, because it's the only way to beat it. To ensure I never see your face, I will feed you. I just can't shoot her, and that's it. Gonna kill me. I, 
I did it in two minutes and 14 seconds. I said it'd be about two hours and 15 minutes. I did it. That's like 15 years later. The father story is now done. Ethan does die at the end because he's mold because the mega mice gets blown up. He is unfortunately killed with it. But Rose still maintains all of those powers, his daughter, and that showed her uh, at 16 and she's still very powerful. Dashing dad. Let's see what else we get. Don't trust the snake oil. That's not using any health. And I didn't even use a single health the entire thing. I, I used not one. Knives out. Got it. Frugal father. Not spending money. Ethan Winters. Ethan Winters is what I was looking for. Ethan Winters is platinum trophy. Obtain all trophies in the game. Thank you, everybody who is still watching. Uh, that's a big one. I am so freaking happy. Uh, we're going to save it.